Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Eddie Monster. Welcome to Magisite. That's right. So, for those of you who don't know me, I am brand new to YouTube. I just, this is actually my first video I'm ever going to upload. This is my first anything I'm ever going to do. <laughs> but I hope to let's play a lot of different games, and I just thought I'd start with Magisite because it's a fun game. It's, uh, you know, really easy to play, really easy to get lost in, and uh, it's just one of my favorite games that I have right now. It's, um, it's not too difficult. I've been playing it for a little while, and I'm barely good at it, so, uh, this let's play should be pretty fun. Um, but yeah, I'm brand spanking new, so if you got any criticisms, obviously, please post them in the comments section down below, and I will be almost assuredly certain that I'm going to message you back, talk to you, chat, shoot some, uh, shoot some crap, you know, clap my gums. Whatever I gotta do. But anyway, so starting off, let's talk about what this game is in its core. All it is, is it's a platformer with RPG elements and also some roguelike elements and that it's procedurally generated each time. So it's a from point A to point B, you've got to make it through these districts. And each district is different and they're always random. They have different biomes, different enemies in it. You'll understand the game as we go along. But first things first, we actually need to talk about the RPG elements. Obviously, you start with a race, and they have totally all kinds of different races. I've unlocked most of them except for the pig folk, which is an awesomely hard challenge because you've got to beat the game without an HP potion. It's not as difficult as it sounds. I could have gotten in before in the past. I have not yet. But obviously, this is your starting class. You start with this. You don't have any other class unlocked. This is just the peon. They start with a wood axe and two random items and plus one HP. They are very much just a blank canvas. They, they take to pretty much anything like a duck to water. So moving on, the next thing you're probably going to unlock is the noble or the orclops or the dwarf. Now, each one of these is sort of different in that each one adds a different layer as what you want to go into. Obviously, the orclops plus two attack. You want to go for a melee build. A noble plus one magic. You want to go for a magic build. The dwarf plus four dex. He's like the dex character. You know, you go for a dex build. And obviously, each uh, one of those corresponds to a different thing. Attack corresponds to melee. Dex corresponds to a bow. That guy starts with a bow. Magic starts with uh, magic corresponds to how much mana you have and how much power your spells do. This game does have spells. And also, yeah, you unlock the crusader, the remnant, who's like the magic dude, the trogan, who's just another dex guy. The Earthkin, who is kind of like the all-arounder, who's one of my favorite classes for, like, when you haven't unlocked anybody else. If you've unlocked the Earthkin, Earthkin which is not too difficult. you got to reach 10 district, or district 10. It's not too difficult. There are 20 districts, the 20th being the bi final boss. Um, you know, the Earthkin's pretty good. We're going to say Remnant, though, because I want my first run ever to be a magic run, because I love magic runs. I haven't actually unlocked any variants. Variants are just cosmetic. And we move on to the second little added aspect to the customization. You've got hats. Now, each hat does something different. There are four that I've yet to unlock. But let's say you talk about the gather headband. Uh, the rare has a 25% chance of acquiring a random item when gathering ingredients. That's pretty useful. The minor cap, 25% chance of yielding another ore. Because in this game, you do gather ingredients kind of like Minecraft. And you craft things kind of like Minecraft. But just a little bit differently. But, you know, that's pretty useful. These are kind of like your stat hats for uh, acquiring more magic, more decks, more attack. You know, hero crowns like random. And then you just got random little effects, you know. Wasp glasses give you extra speed and a slow jump. Uh, Viking helm summons a giant Viking axe with doubles double attack damage. Each one has sort of like their own little strategy. My favorite strategy, however, works with the frost crown. Because the Frost Crown gives you a 33% chance of gaining HP every time you regen a mana point. So it kind of gives you a very, very small passive HP, HP regen. Which is very important in this game as health potions are kind of... They're not as hard to come by as they used to be because this game is constantly being updated. But it's still... Health is hard to come by. If you make stupid mistakes, you can find yourself really low without a lot of health. And the Frost Crown, as a magician or a magic guy, really just helps. Companions are relatively new. There are three that I haven't unlocked and three that I have unlocked. The Region Fairy will be the first one you probably unlocked. You have to reach District 15 in a single playthrough, which is uh, not too difficult, but it just basically gives you passive regen. You get a 1 HP when you, each, when you reach the end of a district. Sorry. 
And that's, uh, that's pretty helpful if you can manage to not get hit, because cities, or not cities, but towns at the end of each district, which is kind of like the transition between two districts, cities also count towards the region ferry. So you get health leaving a district, entering into a town, you get health leaving a town, entering into the next district. So that's really helpful. The Ancient Bat, however, is really, really helpful, and it's unlocked after beating the game. Obviously, I've beaten the game. And basically, he just gives a, he's a small chance to spit out random items. Now, he spits out any item that you can find in a chest, so he spits out ores, he spits out ingots, he can spit out straight up... He can't spit out weapons, but he can spit up uh, blades. He can spit up a lot of really helpful stuff. Like, you could get uh, a very late game uh, pick from this bat. And the haste beetle is really fun. <laughs> Basically, it just doubles your speed, and uh, that's pretty useful. I used to think speed was very important in this game, but I kind of got used to not having it. So we're gonna go with the ancient bat, and we're gonna talk about the next little randomized stat here. This is basically randomizing your stats. As you can see, you have traits, and each trait gives a different thing. I'm not gonna go over each one. Basically, potion brewers a 50% chance to craft big potions. That's one of the most important ones. And then you also have little random stuff like artisans, plus 10 luck. Basically, it has a chance of giving stats on anything you craft kind of type deal. We're looking for specific stuff, though. And also, green on your stats mean that there's a bonus to it when you level up. There's a, there's a greater chance of gaining a stat in that. Red means there's less of a chance. So, moving forward, we're going to try and get a potion brewer with green magic. And hopefully not a crappy secondary trait. That's kind of all, all I'm looking for, in all honesty. It's kind of like clicky clicker, and that you just keep on uh, clicking until you get what you want. I really don't want Big Eater, because it's kind of useless. Potion Brewer Gatherer with Madge and HP is really good. <laughs> so we're actually going to go with this. And we can also rename our guy. Why, why, why wouldn't we? Let's, uh, let's actually be called... Edward. Not Edwards. We're going to be called Edward. This is our guy. Say hello to Edward. He is a potion brewer and a gatherer. And uh, we're going to do our best. We're going to try and beat the game. Let's, let's hope my first ever LP uh, episode of this is a win. Is a straight up victory. If it's not, it's cool. If it's kind of a silly loss, you know, like if it's, if it's a really upsetting loss, then we'll just uh, reset. We'll try again. I'm trying to get more than one uh, uh, playthrough in. And basically, these are the spells in the game. You start with uh, a <clears throat> wand. Uh, this is why he's the magic guy, because you start with a wand. And this is the bolt wand, which gives you the spell bolt. And basically, it just summons a lightning bolt from the sky, and it's really useful. And uh, we didn't make it over that. That's okay. Now, uh, the magic guy is really powerful early on. Just because, uh, well, usually... Oh, we are out of mana. Oh, good thing we have this mana version. Usually, usually you don't start with this much uh, power. Say you're a melee guy, say you're a dex guy. Because with the dex guy, you have to build up. You have to... Oh, we got an Iron Knight Blade from our little bat friend. But anyway, you have to build up to it. You know, you have to build the arrows. You have to build the... Um, you have to build the weapons. With the magic guy, you kind of just start with what you need. So anyway, if you saw there was just a example of the crafting. Two sticks made an axe handle. An axe handle on a stick made a pick handle. Pick handle on a blade makes us a ironite pick. Now we got the ironite pick from our or the ironite blade from our little bat friend. He's always helpful like that. So our job here in the first level is basically just to collect until our axe breaks, because it's a wooden axe, uh, much like Minecraft, wood is like the lowest tier. Okay, we are taking a lot of silly damage. Let's just kill that guy from up there, shall we? And the beautiful thing is that we already have a, an Ironite pick, so we can already get the next tier of ore, basically. And the next tier of ore, obviously, after iron is gold, and it works just like Minecraft, and after gold is... Woo! There you go. Get down there, Pumbaa. I don't want you up here. The next tier after gold is, um, diamond. Now, obviously, it's diamondite and goldium and, and ironite, but, you know, if I call it what I call it, just go with it. 
Now another thing, as you saw, we just leveled up. We've been leveling up since we started. Leveling up is important because at certain uh, different level junctions, if you will, we earn a tr uh, skill, basically. And we can spec in different, into different tiers of skills. When I say tiers, I mean like different areas like... Man, that was so close. I thought we were going to hit there. There's like a... Bye-bye, uh, Pumba. There's a... Uh, we're going to wait here until we get our little mana point so we can kill these pigs, hopefully. Thank God. But basically, uh, you can spec into a magic skill. You can spec into a... What? A little guy drop. Spiderweb? That's actually really good. Um, you can spec into a... Eh. I really need these guys to drop herbs so we can combine them and make potions. But we'll deal. We'll deal with it. I'm not going to deal with uh, Pumba down there. Because we, uh, oh, we do have eh, a little potion. Potion brew didn't pay out for us there. But anyway, what was I saying? <laughs> oh my gosh, I completely lost my train of thought. Well, anyway, I guess I was thinking, I was talking about skills. But, um, yeah, you can spec into different types of skills, such as, not limited to, oh my gosh, I really don't want to die on my first playthrough. Ah, here we go. Skill path. So, obviously, attack, magic, dexterity. We got a really useless skill for magic, but that's okay. Hopefully, we'll get the best magic skill in the game. That's kind of what I bank on when I play through with the magic character, is getting a, a skill called Clairvoyance, which rapidly regenerates your mana. It's really the only way to play a magician, in my mind, because you just have so many mana problems. Because, you know, I'm using it constantly. That's cool, though. I'm just going to say, bye, Puna. We're going to kill that guy. We're going to kill this guy. We're going to open that shroom. We're looking for spider webs. Because that's nice, two herbs there. Looking for spider webs. We need to catch bugs to make uh, different gems that we combine with sticks to make our individual wands. Now, we made it to the end of the level, but you are timed on these. And I might just wait here until the timer runs out, basically, for what's going on. Um, but there's these things chasing you called the Scourge. And the Scourge is basically your time limit. Eventually, the music will change and it will say the Scourge have invaded, you need to get out. And these cacodemon looking things come in from the side and their job is to hunt you down and kill you. And they will kill you in one shot. They do 999 damage, and you won't live, be living that, I'm, I promise you. I've tried, I've tried beating them, it doesn't work. But, I'm, I'm just going to wait until, to be honest with you, I'm going to wait until the uh, Scourge arrive. Just to show you guys what it looks like. Uh, I hate, I hate the, the mana hungry... <laughs> of the magician right off the bat. You know, like, seriously, just please, better mana regen. That's all I'm asking. Ah, oh, and Potion Brewer needs to kick in. It is yet to kick in for at least the mana potions. That's okay. La -di -da -di -da, waiting on the surge to invade. As you can see, you got quite a lot of time. You don't really have to worry about it, in all honesty. As long as you're a little bit quick about your time, you really shouldn't have anything to worry about. Seven Ironite is pretty good for the first uh, level. Uh, it does take two of an ore to make its corresponding ingot, and you use that in the town, which I'll show you. Oh, Bat just spit up a uh, sword hill. Thanks, Bat. I don't need it. But anyway, uh, you'll use that in the corresponding town of the smeltery, and the smeltery will, you know, you smelt the two ores to make one ingot. And then you use the ingots to create your armors. Now, I'm talking about this, I might as well just, like, straight up not even wait on them. <laughs> Wasted enough time. So anyway, this is the town. You have unlimited time in the town, I'm almost sure. But as you can see, you have vendors that sell different things. This guy makes magical clothing. This guy is your smelter. He also makes the ingot armor, which is basically a melee type of armor. This is your sailor. Uh, you sell to this guy. This is your dex leather builder guy. He basically, you make leather armor with this guy. You make cloth armor with this guy, and you make ingot armor with this guy. That's the way it works. So let's show off uh, the sailor. 
kind of just the way he works is Havel the Hoarder. This is kind of the way it works with all of the NPCs. They open up this little box right here and you can take things and shove them into it. Now I'm going to shove seven of my stone because a stone and a coal make a fire starter. Put the fire starter right there. Put your uncooked raw meat right here. You drop down the fire starter and you right click with the meat in your hand and you poop. We didn't get we didn't get as much meat as I wanted to. Oh, when you eat you poop. That's kind of kind of life in a nutshell, isn't it? When you eat you poop. So like I was saying in the last place, herbs combine together to make potions. Now we got a big potion there. See, it's a 50-50 shot with the potion brewer trait. So you take the little potion, put them together to make a big potion. Ah. And my philosophy with a uh, potion brewer is you, if you have one little potion, then you individually craft them up until, you know, because it's a 50-50 shot. So each time you craft two herbs together, there's a, a coin flip as to whether you're going to get a big potion or a little potion. If you get a little potion, then you can create inventory space by getting rid of that little potion by combining them together to make a big potion. And then I just take the what's left as long as it's an even number, and then I craft them together. And as you can see, if I get two little potions, I get one big potion. If I got two big potions, I get two big potions. It's kind of the way it works for me. We have a lot of monster bone, and I really don't need monster bone in all honesty. I'm trying to think, do I need it for anything? I don't think so. Goodbye, monster bone. We really got lucky when we got that iron eye pick really early on. Um Monster Pelt is what we are looking for. We do not need Monster Hide because that is for decks. But Monster Pelt is the name of the game. We also need one more spider silk to make our bug net, which we can catch bugs with. And I'll show that off once we get it. Hopefully we'll get it. The uh, forest is pretty good at uh forest is pretty good at giving what you want. These are beehives. It's kind of just like a uh, house for bees, if you want to call it that. And uh, basically it's just where there are a ton of bees in there, and if you start hitting it, oh my god, a diamond eye great blade! Thank you, bat. So the bat just spit up a really awesome uh, piece of equipment there. I'll talk about great blades here in a second. But anyway, you just kind of like hit it, and uh, if you hit it too many times, it'll spit out a bee. Now we got an eye diamondite great blade. Great blades are kind of like massive, using like ma bigger weapons, two-hander weapons, and the only big weapon you can make right now is a great. X. And this is, it can't be used to chop down trees. Uh, I don't think we actually need anymore. But as you can see, we're hitting it, we're hitting it, we're hitting it, we're hitting it. Boom. Just spit out a bee. We killed it instantly because this is a really, really late game item. And you can already see why the, uh, the bat is so good. And then we kill it. Oh god. Alright. That's a lot of, uh, uh, let's get all this. Oh, the bat spit up a firebug, too. This bat is really carrying us right now. I'm super happy about that. So let's get on the... Let's get on our way, though. That's enough explaining. But yeah. Uh, bees are really good, because... We're going to get hit here. All right, good. Bees have a high chance of dropping pelt and hide. And we want pelt, obviously, but if we get the hide, it's cool, too. So, moving on. Slimes can drop herbs and bone. Um... And this is where you run into problems with your inventory. But we needed that raw meat, and we didn't need that, so I gave that up. We have nine ironite. We need a little bit more. We need about 12 if we want to make enough to... Oh, goldium? Are you serious right now? This bat is just like straight up carrying my butt. Look at that goldium blade. That's so good. Please, in the comments, let, let me know how good this bat is. Like... This bat is carrying my tail right now, like through the fire. Okay, this bat spit up another blade, and we got the next tier, which means we can mine diamondite now. Very important. And we got a... Oh, there was some damage. That's cool. That's like the first damage in a little while. So, one more ironite, and we'll be fine. So I don't actually need to mine any more ironite now that I have all the ironite that I'll need. I've got uh, I've got 12, which is 6 2 times, which is 3 2 times, which is uh, just enough to make 6 ingots. That was some crazy math I just spit at you there. Hopefully you uh, stayed with me. Alright, so we need to do a little bit of crafting now that we have some things. Uh, I don't really want the wooden axe anymore. I don't, I don't want that. Uh, 
we're going to craft this into, nope, there we go. We're going to craft that into two string, two string combined to make a net, combined with a stick to make the bug net. And then we take this out of our inventory, and we want to use the bug net on the bug, and we didn't get the kind of bug I wanted, so we're going to move on. Uh, but I'm looking for a fire bug. So we can do a little bit more crafting. I don't want, I don't want bone. Uh, what do I not want? I need one more pellet, sadly enough. To be able to make my set, uh, my first uh, either chest piece or home. I think that's all we need. Okay, moving on. Uh, hopefully this guy doesn't aggro. Sweet. That's kind of what this uh, character is about. Ouch! That was bad damage. Aha! Firebug. Okay, now we can do some more uh, more crafting. Two bugs together make their corresponding gem. Their gem with a stick makes their corresponding freaking. Uh, Staff, wand, whatever you want to call it. We don't need the bug net anymore. We already have the bugs we need. So now we're going to cast Bolt on this guy and cheese the ever-loving crap out of him. And now we're going to cast Fireball, which is the best spell because, obviously, it's a fireball. Oh, God. All right, we're good. We're good, guys. We're good. Pumba didn't touch us. Let's keep blasting away. Let's say oh, that guy's gone. That guy's gone. And now it's just kind of race to the end, in all honesty. We don't need any more Ironites. We're going to pick up any Goldium we see, and we're going to pick up any... Ah, there we go. We're to the end anyway. Oh, and uh, stuff being empty grumble. Another thing I didn't touch on is you do actually need to eat. I know I talked about eating, but you do have a hunger bar in this game, and you will starve to death if you don't eat. It's not as pressing as it sounds. It's actually pretty useless right now in the game, as far as I'm concerned. But anyway, um, I think I'm going to go back to another foresty level. If you haven't already guessed, at the end of each level you get three doors, obviously. Each door color corresponds to a different level. This is green as forest. Thank you, Bat. This is a swamp biome. The swamp biome doesn't really give you much. It gives you a lot of hide, so you want to go there if your deck's build. But I kind of just want to go back to another forest. Get some more gold, maybe. More potions. I don't know. Have some chances. Oh, that is the Scourge. So that everything changes when the Scourge gets here. It sort of makes your heart rush and whatnot. A change in the, the atmosphere, if you will. But they start at the other end of the level and mark their way towards you. They're pretty quick, though, so you do not want to take your time. But we're out of there now. So let's, uh, let's uh, sell some stuff to uh, McSelly here. I still sadly need potions because we haven't gotten my. We haven't even reached level 10 yet, which is crazy. There's another big potion. We have six of these guys. There's a little potion. I'm gonna take the rest of these. And. Ah. Another two little potions. That's alright. That's cool. Some people think it's better to just straight up craft one at a time individually because that gives you the greatest chance of getting the most amount of big potions, but I'm just kind of like lazy, and so, eh, I don't really care. If we actually get any more coal, we're going to run out of freaking meat, cooked meat, quickly here. That's kind of okay. It's been a very... Very slow run so far. Usually I'm faster than this. We're only in District 4 though, so... And if you don't know what this uh, ability is, we got it a long time ago. It's basically just a teleport. And it's super useless. Like, seriously, you're gonna use that in the heat of battle? I mean, I guess you could get past a certain amount of danger, but it's probably gonna teleport you into a more danger. So, I never use it. You will probably never see me use it past that. Uh, okay. So first things first. Goodbye. Good... Bye. And, uh, of course we don't need any more bugs. We don't need any more Ironites. We're going to hone this beat. Oh, sh Oh, God. This is crazy. Okay, we're good. We are good, folks. I thought we were dead there. We're good, though. We weren't dead. Oh, sweet monster pelt. Okay, so we have enough to make our first set of armor. Wow, we need a lot more power. I played a couple games before I recorded this one, so I'm kind of like, eh, I don't really care about that. Tough to grasp it there. I'm kind of like in withdrawal from how much power I had beforehand. You know, I'm like, 
I think I should be one-shotting these guys when I'm actually three-hitting them, which is terrible. Terrible. That's cool, though. It's cool, though. Or really, though. It's cool. It's cool, man. Uh, let's drink some potions. Get our Hannah back. Um, we'll take that coal. We actually need that coal and that stone. We don't need bones. Bones can bone me. For all I care. Bone is very important, actually, for a dex-based uh, based character. Simply because you need them for the arrows. Here we go, folks. Oh, we got another crappy skill. Oh, well, whatever. This skill is a levitate. Put me down! We're levitating! Uh, it's, it's kind of useful. It, it has its uses. But in all honesty, I really, really need clairvoyance. <laughs> like, terribly. Oh my god, if we don't get clairvoyance, I don't know what I'm going to do. That's what this build revolves around. Getting freaking clairvoyance. And getting, every, and getting all the mana regen. But that's okay. We'll keep on moving on. Uh, the bat dropped an unstrung bow, but I don't really care about bows. Bows aren't my thing, yo. I see some gold. And I love gold. The taste of it. The smell of it. Yeah, also, I love gold because it's our next tier. I'll hate gold later because it'll be useless. But right now, I love it. The uh, music in this game is also quite awesome. Each level, each biome has its own soundtrack, which is pretty impressive considering this is an indie game. But, uh, yeah, moving on here. We're still on the lookout. Look at. We're still on the lookout for, uh, you know, oh, you dropped a cooked chicken. How thoughtful of you. I don't even want to pick it up. I'm not even going to pick it up. I don't even need that. I kind of do need it, but we're not going to pick it up. Okay, so we have our choice of two other areas. This, of course, I already told you is Swamp. This one is a place called the Felt, or the Velt, or wherever. And it's full of mushrooms, and it's actually a pretty high level area. And tiers, the forest is like the lowest tier, as far as level goes. This is like the second tier. And this is kind of like the third tier. But we're going to go here because this is really where you want to go if you want to get a lot of pelt. And we have dew, of course. So we are. And as far as I know, I don't think the shops sell any corresponding gear. And by that I mean like level, like if you get to the last level, you're not going to see like straight up just diamondite stuff. You can still see wooden stuff. Which sucks, in all honesty. Why am I talking to this guy? You don't have a chest behind you. You're the man I need to talk to. I saw that, and basically you guys know the drill right here. We have 10 HP potions. That's pretty freaking awesome. Um, I'm gonna craft this one at a time. All right, good. And now we're gonna craft it together, so that way we didn't end up with an odd number of little potions in our inventory. We do still have an herb, but that's cool. Uh, we can cook this meat. Get that out of our inventory. A big deal about this game is just inventory management. You have so little inventory that you always have to constantly be on like, okay, do I need this? Do I need this? What do I sell? What do I get rid of? What do I not need? You know, we're going to sell this little potion because we do not need that anymore. And now you get to see some of the armor crafting because we have enough pelt to craft up uh, straight up one piece of armor. So, three pelt together with three pelt. Make three cloth. And we're talking to the blacksmith right now because three I uh, three ore plus another three ore makes three iron knight bars. Take this to the tailor because we are magic. Put the three cloth we have with the three bars we have. He combines them together for us to make elegant fabric, which we then combine in here to make an elegant hood, which Increases our stats, gives us more HP, gives us more magic. Right as rain. Now we have 17 and we're 17 mana and we're hitting for a lot more damage. I'm serious, guys. I'm super scared that we're not gonna get the right uh, ability. We're not gonna get a good ability. But what else? We don't, we don't, we do, we do. We'll move on from there. I think that's everything. I think that's all we just need to put this back up here. Get that out of there. Get that there. Um, 
Yep, we should have tons of uh, health by the end of this level too. You'll see what I'm talking about. But now that we moved on to a new area, as you can see, there are new enemies. We have jellyfish, and we have axe mushroom warriors, and we have uh, a little sheep for the non-dangerous enemies. So basically, we're just going to stand up here, and we are going to cheese the ever-loving crap out of these guys. Then we're going to move down here, and we're going to start firing away. Look at that. Already got plenty of pelt. These guys drop a ton of pelt. Like, seriously. Just need to fire all the things. As you can see, though, oh, we got another diamond eye great blade. Oh gosh, um, I hate taking that off on the toilet, but we need to. Oh, I also need this. That goes away. Awesome experience. It's not the end of the world. There was an achievement for getting to level 40 before the end of the game, which is fairly difficult if you don't get the right biomes. But I've already succeeded. He gave me the haste beetle. Oh, two shot in those guys. Which is a really nice trinket, obviously. But, uh, you know, still, very difficult to perform. I'm not too shot in that guy, though. Must have fired off a, uh, uh, get, get, get in. Oh, oh, great. They're out of freaking mana. Gosh darn it. Come on. There we go. Okay, three shots. Three shots. That's, that's acceptable, I guess. Get the mana. We kill these guys. I'm just gonna fire off every bit of my mana. Take a drink. Fire off every other bit of my mana. Probably take another drink. Cause this is ridiculous. Oh, it's gonna fall off. Put us in a very bad situation. That's okay though. We've got. Oh shoot! We're getting out of there. I don't like that. Oh, this game quickly becomes bullet hell if you're not careful. All right. We're cool. We're cool. We made it out of that. We are, we are, we're fine. I'll go as far as to say we're fine. We're cool, man. Nothing can stop us. I'm gonna say that, and we're gonna get stopped by some bullcrap. Like, we're gonna get, like, the hardest levels. Alright, we're out of mana. God dang it. Die. Die quicker. Thank God. Jesus, I hate not having clairvoyance. So bad, I... I know I sound like a broken record. I'm a whiny baby, but Jesus. I need my clairvoyance. I really hope I get it, guys. You'll understand. I am collecting gold. Every second I was like, do I need that? Yeah, I need that. But as soon as I get it, you guys will understand. You'll be like, wow, that is so overpowered. And I'll be like, yeah, I know. <sighs> Ran out of mana. Oh my god. See, that's what I hate. Just every now, you just like, every now and then, run out of freaking mana. And that happens. You make the jump thinking, ah, I'm gonna kill that guy. And then you land on top of their heads because, guess what? You're out of mana. So let's drink this. Get a little bit of that. Alright. Oh god. This is bad. I think we're gonna have to say bye to that Ironite bar down there. Thank god the jellyfish got stuck. Oh, that sucks. Oh, okay. <gasps> oh, thank god. Okay, we didn't waste. Did not waste it. We're gonna have to use our melee, which sucks. Because, oh, god. It's so difficult to melee enemies. Like, if you're new to this game, I would suggest... Oh, god, it's so difficult. Oh, okay. I would suggest not going with melee class and going with a dex based class. Dex is for noobs. It's still very powerful and awesome. See, look at that. Four damage. God dang it. Get away from me. You die in this game because you got too close to someone. That's really that's really how you die in this game. If you get too close to someone, it's over, man. Woo. Okay, so this one is a cave. This one is a dungeon. Uh, as far as levels go. I think a cave... We have a ton of pelts, so I'm going to go cave. And why, you may be asking, well, g uh, generally cave sells a, or not sells, but generally cave has a, uh, we're going to buy this, by the way, a ton of chests and not very difficult enemies, and it also has a ton of wars. So that's what we're going to be going for. A ton of potions. 
I don't need stone. Oh shit, I needed that stone. Damn it. Shit, I sold that stone. You selling some stone? Nope. That's cool. We'll be fine. I needed that stone to make a fire starter. Shouldn't have sold it. That's cool. Alright, so now we can make our next set of armor, actually. And, uh, one, two, three. Make three cloth. Like this, split it in half. That becomes three golden bars. Then we take uh, to our magic man over here. And we put that in there. Put that in there. And now we get our robes. And look how beautiful we look. Look how beautiful we are in our magic robes. We actually don't need this leather either. Thinking about it. Don't need that. Um, keep that. Keep the herb, I guess. I don't need this ironite anymore. Second thought, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this ironite down here. I'm going to make three bars with it. And we're going to take it. And if you've noticed, the both the fur or leather worker guy and the tailor had two slots and this guy has three. That's because he makes shields as well. And shields don't give you any stats other than HP, but they're very useful. HP is always good too. We're just going to take a drink of uh, an HP potion here. Just because you can get overwhelmed pretty fast in the caves. So welcome to the cave. So basically what is the cave? The cave is filled with these little, these guys that are eggs, filled with spiders, and filled with bats. But that's okay for us, as you can see, because they're kind of stupid. Oh, I don't want to waste. There we go. But anyway, we're going to get a lot of spider web here. I don't really want spider web. It's just going to be a uh, side effect. We're just going to let that guy fall down there. We're going to... Hey, bats. We're probably going to take damage from this bat. Dang it. That's okay, though. I guess it'll be enough to level up. I doubt it. <laughs> so we're just going to leave those down there, too. We're going to kill these bats. you got to be real careful, because if you break too many eggs, you actually summon the boss of this area. The boss is known as the Brood Mother, and she's just a giant spider. Oh god, that sucks. Oh god. Oh no! Oh gosh! I know it sounded like I was taking a dump there. I wasn't. I may have pooped my plants a little, but don't worry about it. Alright. We only need... Alright, this is actually it, guys. We kill this, we should level up. Fingers crossed. Gosh, damn it. Oh, God. We got not the skill I wanted. We got magic weapon, which basically imbues your, uh, your weapon with uh, bonus damage based on your spell power, which sucks. Because I don't want to be up in people's face. I want to be away from them. Spamming away. That really sucks. So basically, this has become a... Try not and use as many abilities as possible. Run. We're just gonna try and slip on through. We're not gonna be very powerful for the final boss, that's for sure. And we're gonna need a ton of mushrooms. So I'm gonna need a ton. You dropped a golden blade. We don't really need a golden blade. So I'm gonna need a ton of help. Okay, this is bad. We're getting surrounded. Oh god. Okay. Phew. Thank God. Let's get out of this place. Hey, I wonder where we're going next. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go through this. They're all the same. They're all belts. That was a close one. I almost got surrounded. Ah, this really sucks. I can't believe I didn't get freaking this spell I wanted. That really sucks. Oh, well. It's good content. It's better content. So we don't need that. Now, this is an instance where we got a weapon from a chest, and chest weapons are pretty useful. This is the Y-Hander, as you can see, it gives you a 35 attack bonus, which is really good, except we already have a Diamondite Great Axe, which gives us a 50 attack bonus. So, this kind of gives you some, some foresight into when we would be getting something like a Diamondite Great Blade. We would get this Y-Hander first, so we'd be 10 districts in, maybe a few more districts in before we got the Diamondite Great Blade. But still, we're just going to try our best here with what we got. We got a ton of potions. Maybe that'll work for us. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think, what do we need to get rid of? I'm going to make a fire starter, so that way we don't need any more coal. We don't need any more ironite. 
Um, we're gonna keep this goldium just in case. We don't need any wood, technically. So I'm gonna get rid of that. We don't need this Y-hander. And that's basically what this game is all about. Inventory management. And we also need to eat because we are about to starve. And I might just cook the rest of this meat. To be totally honest with you. Just because the more we have, the less we have to worry about it. So, yeah. 18 is pretty good. I dropped my freaking wand. That sucks. I'm glad that we picked that back up. Jesus, that would have been terrible. Blunder of the century. Alright. Now that we got our mana regenerating back. Slow as Christmas. Let's go back into the film. Uh, two shot. Two shot. One shot those guys. One, two. Should kill him. One, two. Should kill him. So I'm just going to have to do it like this and be really, really conservative. I'm not even going to go for that Goldium because right now I can pretty much get Diamondite uh, and use that for my uh, for my stuff, you know? Like, oh my god, Jellyfish. Just drop. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, get away from me. Thank god, jeez. Already out of freaking mana. Alright, um, dodge these. Um, we're gonna jump over this guy. Parkour. Parkour, parkour! Oh god! Keep running! Nobody saw that. Oh god! Okay. Freak. Alright, um, we're gonna try and destroy this guy from afar. Not from Jafar. That'd be a Disney movie. And that would be copyright. I hope that's not copyright. Oh my god. Did I just ruin this video? Oh god. So this is a vial of poison. Uh, it's kind of useful, but not entirely. Like, I haven't fully myself gone through and realized its full potential. However, it's bad. We are not even going to worry about it. Uh, you can use them on the final boss, and they can do a number on it. But we're not going to. We're just going to keep on keeping on here. We're not going to worry about it. In fact, we'll sell it. We'll sell it. We don't have, we don't need much more uh, inventory. I thought I threw away my axe there for a second. Or my pickaxe. I was so worried. Let's get more diamond knight. Diamond knight. And uh, keep on moving. God, I really... This is going to be a really tough one, guys. Like, seriously. My next build is going to be a lot better. We're just gonna. Ugh. Okay, thank God we don't have to go to a dungeon. Dungeons are the hardest uh, areas to go to, simply because we have enough. Uh, we don't have enough to make our headpiece. We almost have enough. We need one more diamondite, and we can make our headpiece, our diamondite chest piece, or whatever. We have plenty of pelt now. Anything I want to buy? Not really. Not really. So anyway, oh, we need to sell some stuff though. Get some. Some shiz out of our inventory and allow our mana to regen. If I had a freaking mushroom, I'd buy that mushroom just to get some more mana. But I don't! So I won't! They are, however, getting a ton of HP potions. Just from our natural mana regen. Even though it still has molasses, we're still getting some HP from it, so because of our uh, hat that we're wearing, which gives us 33% chance to regen HP. So let's see, what, uh, what do I, what do I want to do, what do I want to do? I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. I didn't want to risk making a little HP potion there, but I did, and, uh, and I'm super sorry for it, because now, oh, wait, I can buy this, ha! Ah, it's kind of a pet peeve of mine, I don't like having, like, Craftable things uncrafted. Oop, there we go. It's just not my style, you know? Well, that was a failed jump. Moving on. Usability. That's the only... It's the last time you'll ever see me use that ability. Just for funsies. A little bit more mana regen, because... Why not? Oh, we need to eat... Some more. Not eat s'mores. Although s'mores would be awesome. We're eating some more. 
and we're moving on. So one shot for that guy, if it doesn't freaking hit the piece of crap lamb. Okay, now two shots for this guy. Or, ah, one shot for that guy. One shot for this guy. One shot for that guy. Good. Alright, the jelly has spotted us. That's no problem. Two shots. Oh, and he dropped his signature weapon, the Jelly Blade. Now, the Jelly Blade has, whoa, weapon 100 attack. Yeah, but it also minuses 3 HP. And you have to get up in somebody's face to use it, so I don't really like the Jelly Blade. Keep it, though. In fact, you know what? We'll use it. Why the hell not? Why the heck not? It's a slow swing speed, but tons of attack. Like, 108 attack? Who's gonna mess with us? I just don't like being up in people's faces, you know? It's just... Like, see how much damage we do? I don't want to wait. I just don't like being up in people's faces, you know? That's how I played this game for a long time, and then I finally got with it and realized how, uh... How inefficient it is, you know? Just like... To get hit over and over and over and over because you missed something, or because you, you thought they were going to be somewhere when they weren't. Um, I don't need gold, because we're looking for diamonds, and, uh, yeah, we're already out of mana again. I really need some, uh, oh god, I was really hoping to kill that thing. Kill it. Okay, good. Let's make this guy swing. Swing, you fool. Yeah, I knew you were going to wait for me to swing. This is stupid. Let's see how much damage we do when we use the magic weapon. 136 is not that much, actually. But it might be the only way we beat the final boss. Whoop. Wow, that's a big crit, though. Bam! Boom! Bada boom! And don't get me wrong, melee has its merit. You know, like... Ah, you see that? We almost got hit there. That's like... 4 damage. Yep, 4 damage. See? I don't have enough HP to take a lot of those. <sighs> See? And I got hit again. It's just... It, maybe it's a personal thing, but I just... I can't time it right, you know? Especially with two-hander weapons. So that was the diamondite we needed to make our next piece of armor. Now we're golden. To move on. Kill that guy. Kill this guy. And, uh, keep it up. Keep it up! Doing pretty good. I'm, uh, there we go. Finally, shroom. You know, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with the way this run has turned out so far. Not all runs can be winners. Most of my runs are winners, but for the reason that I get clairvoyance. So, I don't have clairvoyance here, so it's going to be a lot different. More difficult to do to pull off. But we're going to try. It's very challenging for me. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking here. We can go back to Felt and have an easier time, possibly get more mushrooms. Or we go to Cave. Crack us into some chests. Get some more Diamondite. I'm definitely thinking Cave. So we're gonna go Cave. We're gonna go Cave. Let's go Spelunking. And remember what I said, how the, the items in the shops don't tear up as you go farther down? As you can see, wooden, wooden... No, I mean, you do get your gold stuff, but still, wooden pickaxes in District, what are we on, like, 13, 14? Yeah. So, you know, don't count on finding a diamond eye pick in the last possible area. And, uh, we just get down to brass tacks here and just do what we do best. Um, I'm actually gonna make a fire starter and I'm gonna cook the rest of this uncooked meat we have. Because we won't have to worry about it for the rest of the run. 30 cooked meat is plenty enough to get us through to the last area. So now, from now on, we can just throw out any cooked meat we don't have, or we don't need, basically, or uncooked meat, and just throw it out. Say it like that, it comes out a lot nicer, doesn't it? Um, put that where it belongs, put that where it belongs. <laughs> hmm. Uh, now we need to make some armor. One, two, three. One, two, three. You know what? We're just gonna do this. 
so that way we um we don't need this pelt anymore and it's already cooked it's already made for us so let's make diamondite bars and we'll go I hate that I'm still gonna be rolling with an ironite hood but it is what it is we're gonna I don't want to make a diamondite hood so we're gonna make it I want the most bang for my buck which is the robe itself you know? so we just went from oh shit I need to pick that up hmm <laughs> Alright, so we went from having, you know, what, six magic to nine magic. It's fairly good. It's a fairly high jump there. And I think that's all. I think we can move on after that. Move on to the next area. Deep Road Cave. I was really hoping we'd be one-shotting these guys by now. I don't need that great blade, but we picked it up. I'm going to Toro this guy off the edge here. Toro, Toro, there we go. So... Also, we should be one-shotting these bats. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. One-shot the bats. Ain't nobody's business. I'm not going to be using gold. So we'll sell that in our next available area. At our next available guy. And basically, we're just trying to conserve mana here. It's going to be a long wait for the final boss. Because I don't want to go into the final boss without full mana. So, hopefully we have close to full mana by then. I wish I could summon a Broodmother to show you guys what it looks like, but mm, I'm definitely not confident that we would take down a Broodmother. This is going to hurt. Oh my god, the skills. They are so real. We're going to have to... We are going to get hit. Yeah. Oh shit. Well, that's okay. 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 Okay, we're good. We're good. We did get hit again, though. That's cool. God, I want to get that chest. So we're going to mass genocide all these guys. Sweet. Oh, I'm trying to not break an egg, but I broke an egg. That's cool. You can break three eggs. Oh, and we didn't even get anything useful. That's so crappy. Um, we don't want this. We don't want this. I don't want this. This. And these. And this can go as well. And that's all. Oh, as you can see... There are sometimes mimic items. Ugh, God, are you freaking kidding me? Like that is called an iron I call them iron crabs just because they're like mimic rocks that turn into crabs, basically. You find a lot of them in here. Oh, a diamond eye blade. I'm good, I don't need it. Oh actually maybe I do. I'll take it. You know? Like who's gonna turn their nose up at the diamond eye blade? I almost did. <laughs> um Oh, we in 15. We'll go to another cave. Go to another cave. Yeah, caves are, are good. The opportunity to get the um the chests is good enough for me. Man, I really use some mana. We are gonna upgrade into a diamondite pick. I'm not sure. There's like a special material. Or, I, or ore that you mine in the final boss that you mine together to make uh, fragments that do damage to him, basically. Spoiler, if we don't make it there. <laughs> but, yeah, and I don't know if you need a diamondite pick to mine it. If you do, tell me in the comments if you do or not. I'm not sure. I've never tried it without a diamondite pick, so... Uh, yeah, give me a shout-out. Let me know. Let's move on, shall we? Oh, uh, we should have ate. That's cool. I'm cool. We're good. Uh, two shots kills him, or not. That's cool too. What else? Thank God we killed him. Oh my God! There's another one. Oh my. Wait, that's that's one of the problems I have with this game. Sometimes when they get pixely perfect, and they line up. Okay, we got a ring. That's a, another thing in this game. You get accessories. This is the Ring of Rage. Obviously, it doesn't help us. Got another down I blade. Thank you, Bat, but no thank you. So I'm just going to drop that. I don't really want it. I don't really need it. I'd much rather get, like, some sort of ring that ups our magic. Ah, uh, sh... Oh, uh, crap. I hope that doesn't summon a freaking... Broodmother. Ah, oh, it summoned a Broodmother. I'm almost certain. Yep, there she is. So anyway, guys, this is the Broodmother. She's the uh, boss for this level. We are going to be trying to destroy her, but I doubt we're going to make it. I, I just want her dead. 
You know, I just want a dead. Oh crap! Maybe we can kill her. Ah, we killed her. Sweet. Thank God for the jelly blade. I never thought I'd say that. We're gonna have to rely on melee along with this. It's kind of weird, you know. It's kind of got me out of my comfort zone a little bit. You know, like usually I play where I have all the mana in the world, but now I can't play like that. I have to play, you know, smarter with my mana. Smarter. I can't just. Uh, we made it over it. I'm gonna jump over this guy. We're gonna get that guy over here. We're gonna jump backwards, and we're gonna make it that way. Yes. Play by play of what just happened. I could just give you the short insertion and say that I'm awesome. That'll work too. Ooh. Ring of Insanity. Thank you. So, it's got some negatives to it, but that plus 8 magic is huge. Plus 8 magic is, is unbeatable. Uh, we also got another weapon, the katana. It's okay. It's not great. It's not, it's not amazing. It's not better than what we got, so we're going to leave it. We're going to kill this guy like that, and we're going to keep on moving. This guy's gonna get just like his brother. I said just like his brother. Stupid spider. Oh, I don't like the bats. We're not gonna deal with the bats. We're gonna cheese the bats. God, I'm still not one-shotting these freaking spiders. I'm so just frustrated. I have little damage. Usually I'm one-shotting these guys by now. But that's cool. We'll keep on moving. Let's get these guys both off the edge. Maybe not both of them, but that guy come back on us. We're fine. This guy's gonna take jelly to the face. And so is this bat. Boom! Look at that, in the air. I am so awesome. It's been so long since I've done melee. Ooh, we need to pick up some, some space. Hmm, what else can I drop? I can drop this. Drop that. I can drop that. It's not necessary. This is not necessary. Hop over all of it and say bye bye to it because we are not bringing this. Oh god. Oh shit! Oh, get out of there. Okay. If you can't already tell, I'm quite um, easily startled. <laughs> Which means I'm never freaking. Oh my god. Okay. So we have a choice of a dungeon level or the freaking. Crater level, which is the new level, which is they say is the hardest, but I think. You know what? I think I'm gonna go crazy because you get some really good stuff in there, and it's gonna help out a lot. So we're gonna go Fangvine Crater. Also, we're like two levels away from the final area, so I'm pretty happy about that. And we have a ton of mana. We're just gonna take it slow. What we're gonna be hoping for here is we're gonna be looking for two specific items. We're gonna be looking for the cross for the something called the laser crossbow, which is uh, a game saver at this point for us. It's, uh, if you play Blinding of Isaac, think of it kind of like a mom's knife type of deal. It's infinite ammo, it does a good chunk of damage, and it's it's just fast fire rate, it's just good. It's just really good. But, uh, yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna be hoping for that. We're gonna be crossing our fingers. When I find a laser sword too, it's basically just a lightsaber. And one more diamondite, and we can make a full diamondite set. Alright! Let's do this. Take it slow. Take it slow. Fire off. We kill them in two shots. Oh god, seven damage sucks. Alright. Oh, thank you. That was beautiful. Alright, our first chest hopefully contains what we're looking for. Alright, it contained a total biscuit, which is really nice. It's not the uh it's not the reviewist, it's not the reviewer total biscuit, but it is very nice because it ups our HP and our magic permanently. Ah, if you can see there's a little red mark next to that chest's lock, and that says that it is a mimic. So it should not be trusted. But I'm still gonna kill it. To get the level. We're gonna kill this guy too, hopefully. Come on, one more. Oh, thank God. I'm really hoping for a laser crossbow here, guys. Like, seriously. There's the lightsaber. We have 75. Is that better than the jelly blade? Mm, probably not. But I'm going to use it anyway, because it's new. Ring of insanity again. Oh, my God. So I do a ton of damage. 
with my magic and I use it. Oh my god, that freaking crab! Are you kidding me? Alright, we're gonna fire from over here. Nice and safe distance. We should kill that guy with two shots. That's right, common two chains. Alright, we got another butterfly. Oh shit, wrong thing. This guy creates a very problematic area with uh, his little bullets. Alright, oh, and there's the boss. So that's the boss of this area. It looks like Cobra Commander to me. Oh my god, he shoots fast. <laughs> okay. We're just gonna run. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Drink. Drink. We didn't get what we wanted. Drink. We didn't get what we wanted. Oh god, get out of here. Drink. Drink. We're just gonna use up all of our potions. Because we can do it. This is probably it for us, guys. This is it for us. We're dead. Oh my god. We are alive. We're, we're alive. We're alive. Get out of here. Oh my god, I made it. I cannot believe I made it. We didn't get what we wanted, but we made it. <laughs> oh my god. That was some total BS at the end. I cannot believe it, but we made it. So this is District 20. This is the area before the boss. And basically, this is kind of just like dump all your crap time. Because I missed the total biscuit in there, which sucks. But it's okay. Oh god, this is this is needed. I'm gonna be waiting a long time <laughs> before because I want all my mana. Like I seriously just want all my mana. Because I'm gonna be hitting it with my laser sword. I guess. I don't know. We used up all of our freaking potions. Ugh. Man, that was crazy. We didn't even get diamondite. I probably passed a ton of diamond I don't need these. I don't need these, I guess. I don't need these. Or these. Or this. And we're gonna eat. Ah, oh, we don't actually need to eat either. We're gonna keep that on us. Ah, uh, oh, I don't need this. Excuse my language. I don't need that. I don't need that. So, I'm impatient. I don't wanna wait. We've already made it to the final level anyway. So lost now would not be too bad. I'm very proud of the way this run has gone. I'm just, my plan here is to just spam uh, fireballs until fireball fireballs until he um it's out around a mana, and then just freaking hit it with my sword I guess or go mine a lot of fragments would be another way. Letting my mana regen. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Let's let's go. Let's fire a lot. Let's fire a lot. And we're gonna miss that. Uh, that was crazy. We're gonna go down here and we're gonna kill this guy. I actually want to kill that guy because I don't want him to mess up my uh, you know, hitting of the boss here. Basically, this is just spam away until we run out of mana. And then we wait for the right time. Uh, we do this. We run back. Oh god. Die. Die. Okay, good. Okay. Oh shit. He's gonna fire. I'm gonna kill these guys. Oh god. I'm gonna die. I'm, I'm almost sure I'm dead. I'm dead. Let's, let's drink. Oh god. Let's drink again. Oh god. Let's drink again. <laughs> okay, um. Kill him. Let's fire some more. All right. Um. Die. Oh god, damn it. Oh my god. This freaking sucks. Oh god. All right. So one more hit, and we're dead. Let's let him fire off his fireballs. Oh, we're dead. Okay. Dang it. <laughs> well, anyway, guys. This is what happens when you die or when you win. You get this little screen. It shows you how many enemies you defeated, how much gold collected. Experience, yada yada yada, and all faction in those course. So this game can be kind of like a score attack kind of type deal. It shows your total time. And I'm surprised I completed it in under an hour because uh, I spent the whole time talking. So basically, you get these chests and you click them, and oh, look, see, we unlocked something. We unlocked the spider hat, or the spider egg hat, which is awesome because I didn't unlock it yet. But anyway, 
So, you can have a chance at unlocking things if you met the requirements for those things that need to be unlocked. Otherwise, you just get score, and it adds to your score. And you can get bigger score. My biggest score probably is like 6,000, I'm not sure. I don't really care about the score. This game is just fun to play. So, anyway, guys, that's Magisite. I am super, super happy that you guys came to watch. I hope you enjoyed. This has been a crazy long uh, video. Uh, crazy long. Like, I don't even know. <laughs> it's going to be over an hour long with everything built into it. So, anyway, guys, this has been my first episode ever, my first Let's Play ever on YouTube. Once again, my name is Eddie Monster. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. And thank you for any comments you leave. Hopefully you leave some comments. Obviously, like if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you next time.